before. Let me explain this concept slightly to you. There is a sack or something. Toilet tree bag. Haven't found Toilet the sacks yet. And inside here, I, I don't know what's in here. My son put something in here, and I'm going to take it out of here and hopefully share something uh, that will be meaningful about life application of the gospel or the, the power of God. If he put something strange in here that I don't know what it is, I'll talk about the bag. I did that last week. <laughs> this, I know what it is. This is a cell phone. In fact, they, they call this a smartphone. What they call it, anyway. Now, I happen to know something about this phone that the rest of you don't know. Some of you know. <laughs> Some of them talk to me. It's not working. <laughs> this is actually a very nice, uh, fairly expensive <coughs> piece of electronics that is now a useful paperweight. Mm -hmm. That's a media player. Okay, the media player. I can listen to music, watch movies. Yeah, well, what you, can't, what you can't do, see, you can do all the important stuff. What you can't do is make a telephone call with this. True. The reason for that is that telephones in Iowa, at least on the plan I'm on, don't use SIM cards. And the phones we have have SIM cards. Some of you are saying, what in the world is he talking about? No. means that it does not connect correctly with the tower and with other phones. There's a disconnect someplace. Something is broken in the communication between this phone, the tower, and other phones. Ever been there in your prayer life? Mm -hmm. Amen. Sometimes you're praying and the prayer seems to be bouncing off the ceiling. It's because something's broken. Usually something broken in the relationship you have with the one you're trying to call. Amen. Your relationship with God has some sort of a problem, and you're trying to avoid that problem and pray anyway. And it's good to pray anyway, but it's also good to recognize the problem. See, if, if, if you're not as close to God as you used to be, guess who moved? God is the same. He's still there. He's still opening his, his loving, gracious arms unto you. But if there's a problem with you not having a relationship there, it's your problem. Something in your life is not what it ought to be. Somehow something got broke somewhere. Maybe you decided, I don't need this this week. I'm just going to put this down. I'm not going to look at it all week long. And you get to the end of the week, and your prayers aren't going anyplace. Because you haven't been spending any time. Or maybe you're at the end of the week, and it's the first prayer of the week. See, I have to know, a lot of Christians, this is the only time, right here when we're together on Sunday, is the only time this gets opened, and it's the only time you pray. And then the crisis comes up, and there's not a connection. You need to spend time in that relationship all the time. We've got some people here in the church who have a very special day coming up on the 13th. At least, I think it's a very special day. And I've been told by one half of that couple that it's just another day. <laughs> and I've informed him, Jer Jerome and Lisa are having their, their 25th wedding anniversary on the 13th. And now, if Jerome thinks it's just another day, it could be his last day. If Lisa has a different opinion of how important that day is. We need to be spending time with God. Because those important times to communicate with Him are going to come. God considers every day important. The relationship to be important. So think about that. If you have a smartphone, think about that. If you have a smartphone that doesn't work, especially think about that. Spending time with God in prayer.